Welcome guys. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about the virulence factors. Okay, now what is virulence factor? Virulence factor is a property of bacterial cells which is enhancing their pathogenicity. So simply it means, let me take a color here, it means uh, it's some uh, characteristic of bacteria. So some characteristics of pathogens to increase their pathogenicity or to increase their capability of causing diseases right pathogenicity sorry city here should be C pathogenicity okay so that is called as virulence factors. Now there are several different characteristics that can be found in different bacteria, viruses and all these things. Now in this case we'll be uh, actually talking about the virulence factors of bacteria. So let me define that. It is of bacteria in this video. Okay. Now the virulence factor for bacteria, why, why bacterial cells requires this pathogenicity or why, why they need to bother about much there because bacteria want to live in host like us and they want food from us and they are destroying us right and obviously if they want to destroy us our immune system or our mechanism of going against them definitely going to block them so in case of this host pathogen interaction there are both the strategies strategies uh, on behalf of bacteria to go against host defense and obviously strategies from host cell to go against bacteria all the time this, there is a war between these bacterial mechanisms and our host defense mechanisms okay now in the host defense mechanisms if we talk about host defense mechanisms we are having two types of def defense lining one is the primary defense or primary defense lining another one is the secondary defense lining in the secondary de primary defense lining we are having skin conjunctiva and all these places so we are having example is skin uh, conjunctiva example uh, like that but in case of secondary defense we are only having immune system taking the action so immune cells and all the immune system is fighting right and in the very beginning skin and conjunctiva protects most of the organisms approximately above 70 to 80 percent of the microorganisms are blocked by this primary defense but if rest of the microorganisms who manages to enter into the secondary defense secondary defense will take care of them right now in this case of bacteria they need to have a sequential move to finally colonize inside some host tissue or host cell now what are the stages and the stages are in the virulence factor we'll be talking about majorly five different stages and what are the five stages let's begin with the first so the first stage so let me change this okay so the first stage is simply entry into the host cell right so entry into the host body actually not cell so let me draw some pictures here here it is so i don't know whether i'm uh, able, uh, in, uh, able to draw this hand perfectly or not uh, whatever so this is the hand we are talking about this is the hand we are talking about of an individual then what we can see here so this is the host host body so let me write it here. this is the host body is extremely bad drawing but whatever this is the host body now the individual is to enter into this host body so if this is the red thing is the bacteria for us so it enters into the host body this is the first step is the entry to the host body and it is establishing that now after that the second part of this journey is addition of this microorganism to the host cell now I'll be looking at the cellular level so if, if this is the host cell so let me draw if this is the host cell this host cell is having different kind of receptors onto their surface any kind of uh, what you can say different different type of gly, gly, what you can say peptidoglycan layers and all this kind of glycosides coming out of the cell surface and here it this this is the bacteria that goes there and it can interact with this via some kind of ligands so this kind of receptor ligand binding helps this bacterial cell to engulf to be engulfed so before the engulfment what they require is the adhesion otherwise it won't work right so this is the pathogen so this red thing let me tell you this red thing is the pathogen i'm telling you all the time right so this pathogen will hit the enter this is the host cell and 
once after this attachment so it is the adhesion so adhesion is a kind of second step now the third step of this process third step of this process is to finally engulfed and enter into the host cell so how it will be engulfed due to this receptor mediated endocytosis and any kind of processes it will be engulfed so let me draw this engulfment so if this is the host cell let's say this is this is the kind of engulfment that they are seen and here it is the bacteria of our interest it enters there okay so engulfment or we can also write it as a propagation of organisms right so we can write it as uh, the propagation propagation of organism or engulfment after this propagation what we've seen that organism is now entered inside the host cell now inside the host cell what they will do they will damage the host cell and get they will get the food from the host cell they will complete their life cycle and damage the host cell so now the fourth part of this journey let me take here the fourth part of this journey is damaging the host cell and how they will damage the host cell because if this is the host cell there are a lot of uh, function that is going on now these organisms inside this vesicle so let me draw this is the vesicle after the engulfment here is the organism there sitting now this organism will release some toxic materials so here comes the toxic materials these blue things are the toxic materials now that they will be released outside now they will start causing harm to this host cell so these are toxins now the toxins can be of two different type it can be of endotoxin it could be of exotoxin okay so th this can cause harm there after causing harm to the cell the cell will be damaged the host cell will be damaged after the damaging of the host cell they, they will invade this host cell secondary defense so now throughout this place you can see it is it is just destroying the primary defense enters the body and, and killing the cells now they'll move to the secondary defense and then they'll invade the secondary defense this in the last part of this section the secondary defense invasion is to go against or you can write it fight against fight against immune system right so this is the final point how by changing the antigen so by changing antigenic drift so is an example antigenic drift and also antigenic shift with these two mechanisms antigenic shift so using these two mechanisms they can change the course of different pathogenic uh, molecules which are antigen provided by these pathogens right because they are foreign materials which will go against our immune system it will actually fight against immune system to destroy it now if our immune system is strong enough to make this thing con under control then we are fine but if it is not that good then then we'll have the disease right so that's how the virulence factors of a bacteria help uh, it to establish a perfect pathogenesis okay and this whole process uh, from the beginning this whole this is a very very clear cut small picture of the pathogenesis this is called so let me write this is called pathogenesis the establishment of a disease is called pathogenesis will be sorry we'll be talking about this pathogenesis later in much more detail okay so that's it and that and i hope that's helpful thank you